Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Nick here. Uh, today, I have a brand new Call of Duty Ghost informational video for you guys. Um, informative video, sorry. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the perks and all the categories of the perks and such like that. So, let's get, without further ado, let's get started. There are seven categories of perks there's speed, handling, stealth, awareness, resistance, equipment, and elite. And I believe each one has about, yep, about six perks per category or no five perks sorry and they all have different types of um, ways you can spend points on them because if you don't already know in ghosts um, you have eight points to spend on them um, each perk costs between one to five points and can be chosen from any category so there's no limits you can use for, for example you could choose four perks valued at two points each or eight perks valued at one point each St some some combination like that so first of all, we're going to talk about the first category, the uh, first one there, called Speed. And we're just going to go down the list of perks. So first we have Dexterity. Your weapon is ready faster after sprinting, just like in Black Ops 2. Slide a hand, pretty self-explanatory. Makes you reload uh, twice as fast. Extremely useful with weapons that have long reload times. Next we have, oh yeah, let me tell you their pointage. Uh, dexterity had one point, Slide a hand have, has two points. Afterwards, we have agility um, with two points, and it allows you to walk and sprint faster than normal. Afterwards, we have marathon, which is two points also, gives you unlimited sprint. And yep, that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. And then they bring back stalker again, allows you to move faster while aiming down sight, and it is two points again. And then now we are on to the second category, handling. First, starting off, we have strong arm with at one point and it allows you to throw equipment farther away it also cooks grenades faster next we have on the go uh, allows you to reload while sprinting so that means you can rush and reload at the same time which is pretty interesting and that's valued at two points afterwards we have reflex at two points and you swap your primary and secondary weapons faster and um, so basically they're probably not gonna have pro perks then because normally slide a hand pro is used for swapping weapons faster so that's interesting afterwards we have steady aim at two points and it increases hip fire accuracy for all guns by reducing the spread by 35 percent so it's good for shotguns and crap and once again we have quick draw allows you to aim down sight faster just like it did in Modern Warfare 3 and then they had quick draw handle for Black Ops 2 so exactly the same there okay on to the third category stealth First, we have Takedown, valued at one point, and it says, Take down enemies silently without revealing their location. Normally, downed players show a skull above their body that their teammates can see, but this perk disables that for enemies that you take out. So that's pretty interesting. So when enemies take you out, or I mean, sorry, rather, when you take an enemy out, um, it will not reveal their location to other teammates on the minimap. So when you shoot them, I'm guessing that you won't have little red dot on the minimap. Instead, when you shoot them, they'll hear the gunfire, but they won't see the red dot on the map, which, or the skull, whenever they die. So that's pretty interesting. And then next we have blind eye at two points. Um, enemy air support and sentry kill streaks can't see or detect you, just like in Modern Warfare 3. Pretty self-explanatory there. Third, or the next perk is um, off the grid. Two points and enemy sat calm kill streaks and motion detectors like the ping perk. Ping perk won't show you on the enemy radar, so I'm guessing the ping perk must be recon or something. And uh, this is basically ghost or ninja, so that means enemy sat calm kill streaks and motion detectors can't um, sense you on the minimap. So I'm guessing that's supposed to be ghost in this game. Next, we have dead silence, it allows you to walk, sprint, and jump almost silently. Um, two points. After that is cold-blooded two points, prevents the red name and crosshair from appearing above you if an enemy targets you, so that's um, another stealthy perk. You could put together, just from the few that I've already read, you could basically put together a stealthy ninja knife class or whatever, a ninja defuse class, just out of these few perks. But anyways, going on, we have awareness for the, uh, I believe that's the fourth category, and yeah, fourth ca category. And we have, um, for the first perk, we have Recon, one point, causes damaged enemies to be marked on the radar as a red arrow for a while, just like in Modern Warfare 3. I'm not sure 
if you flashbang him or anything if that matters but it just says whenever you cause him damage so I'm guessing that means that too next we have scavenger at two points and that allows you to replenish ammo and equipment from killed enemies so that's cool you can replenish your equipment but I'm not sure if it replenishes your tactical grenades or whatever after we have sit rep marks enemy equipment and explosives in red the effect is visible through walls so now we do not have sit rep pro I believe so far from what I'm seeing we will not have sit rep pro so no more sound horn and crouch proning but they might have changed it to a different yep they have um, that's at two points by the way and eavesdrop is two points that is basically the sit rep pro of um, Call of Duty ghosts so watch out people will be sound horning you with this perk makes enemies more louder thus allowing you to better distinguish enemy movement around you so that might render dead silence useless I'm not entirely sure but hopefully it doesn't but anyways, um, that's basically the sit rep pro of uh, ghosts. Afterwards, we have wiretap. This perk allows you to deploy satcom killstreak to hack into your enemy satcoms. So hack satcoms work normally for the enemy, but they also stack as your own satcoms. For example, if you have one satcom and the enemy has two, they stack as three satcoms for you. This gives you an advanced UAV. That's pretty cool. So it's more of a uh, more of a um um. How do I say radar or recon type perk, which is pretty cool. All right, ne on to the next category. We have resistance. On the first perk, we have re resilience. One point. You take no fall damage. Painkiller. Two points. Brought back from Modern Warfare 2. Regen regenerate your health faster. Um, next perk, stopper. Two points. This perk makes you flinch less when shot by enemy, and also reduces the amount of redness or blood on the screen. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next perk, attack resistance, two points, makes you more immune to tactical grenades like flashbangs and EMP. So that's pretty cool. That's like uh, attack mask in Black Ops 2. And afterwards, we have blast shield, which reduces all explosive damage you take, and that is also two points. This allows you to almost survive all one kill explosive attacks. That's pretty cool. All right, and for the first time ever, They've made um, our equipment extra, so it's like in the wild cards for Black Ops 2, this is the wild cards for equipment only. So the next category is equipment, and it says extra tactical, that's one point, it gives you an extra tactical grenade or equipment. And then there's another extra lethal, which is two points, and it gives you an extra lethal uh, equipment. Afterwards, we have fully loaded, it gives you extra magazines for your weapons, two points. So I wonder if that'll, um, it'll act like scavenger, I don't know. Or maybe it's just, it'll give it like extended bags or something. Alright, the next perk is extra attachment, two points. It allows you to choose an extra attachment for both your primary and secondary weapons. So that's pretty useful. And finally, in the category, danger close increases explosive damage, three points. And finally, we have the last category, elite. And the first perk there is gambler, one point. It gives you a random perk, even one that you already selected. Huh, so that means it'll somehow give you a random perk, and it's only one point. So it gives you another random perk to use in the game. That's interesting, because maybe it could give you a really good one. Afterwards, we have Hardline, two points, reduces the amount of kills you require for any kill streak. Afterwards, we have Ping, two points. After killing an enemy, this perk activates a sonar ping that reveals other nearby enemies. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's like almost like a portable radar, but um after you kill an enemy it reveals their teammates that's really useful actually that's that's pretty cool afterwards we have overkill allows you to have two primary weapons three points and finally we have dead eye five points consecutive kills increase the chance of your weapon to cause more damage to enemies so that means every time you kill someone your damage will get higher and higher that's pretty cool it's pretty interesting well I hope you guys enjoyed this really long video on um oh before I go the perks yes uh, specialist is the same way you choose three perks in the uh, categories and you just go you know first perk second perk third perk as you go on with your specialist and then after you get those three perks I believe you get all the perks in the game such as specialist is so yeah that's all of the uh, perks sorry for the long video guys it's a whole crap ton of perks I believe there's like let me see total there are let's see real quick there are uh, the, the, the seven categories of five, so that means there's 35 perks total, which is crazy. But um, anyways, guys, the link in the description to the source website where I got this from, that's where uh, you can find all these. 
and I will be doing more Call of Duty Ghost informational videos such as um, Weapon Guide or the Weapon List and the um, I believe it's called Extinction or Execution, something like that, the new game mode for Call of Duty Ghost. So feel free to look at those as they will be out in the future, guys. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will um, I'll be sure to include more Ghost videos in the future. Alright, guys, I will see you guys later, and peace.